I'm back with another haul. Can you tell I like clothes? It's a collective spring slash summer haul. So all the pieces that I've gotten since March, I want to say. I'm going to start off with my ultimate favorite. This is a pinstripe tube dress from this Australian brand that I've been loving for the past couple of years. I think their brand is called With John because it has like the accent, but I'm not too sure. I remember when this first came out and I've been obsessed with them ever since, but I was just waiting for like a sale and I finally took the plunge because their pieces tend to be quite expensive. And this is actually a corset. So you can feel like the wires inside. And when you wear this, it's like, I don't know. I feel so cute in it. Like I cannot wait to wear this. If I could, I would wear this every single day, but I definitely don't want to get the white part um, dirty and it's quite tight. So not something I can wear like on a day-to-day -day basis. You can see like the brand name um, throughout the dress, the white um, detail at the top, but the back, it actually splits open. So when you're just wearing it, I don't know. It's like the little details for me. I mean, the color is like so beautiful. It's like bluish gray, purple, I don't know. Perfect. I feel like I can't really eat a lot in this outfit either, but the things we do for clothes. And then my next favorite is something that I've been wanting for months and months and months, and it is definitely a big purchase, but I got it on sale. These are tweed shorts from Versace. It's like purple, yellow, and black with a little bit of like fray detail. I already know I'm gonna have this forever in my wardrobe. It's it's just too good because it's tweed i definitely wanted to invest in a nice piece because in affordable pieces i feel like they just don't know how to tie everything together so it's really like the buttons the the fray detail like the stitching is like off so i knew when i saw this and it was from a luxury brand i kind of had high hopes for this and this really didn't disappoint me. And even though the ends are frayed, it's like sewn really tightly. So I know I don't have to worry about it. I hate shorts that are high-waisted nowadays because it just makes you look like you have a big stomach and I hate that. And this, although it's not like low rise or anything, it's short, which I love. So it just it's just like a mini shorts, I guess. Lately, I've been really loving Poshmark. I do have my own shop there. I've been selling some of my uh, clothes that I don't wear anymore, so I'll leave my shop. But Poshmark has been so good to me, especially when I find a piece of clothing that I love, but I totally missed out on it, so it's like sold out or what have you. I just usually just go on Poshmark or like sometimes eBay to like look for it. And this is one of the pieces that I definitely missed out on because it was sold out everywhere. So I would Google it, I would check Poshmark for months. And then one day I saw that someone was selling this. So I instantly grabbed it. This is a bodysuit from Wolford. I didn't expect it to be like this when I received it, but it just looks so good. And it's like quite thick. Yeah, definitely a lot of texture I did not expect, but this piece is so sexy. It's kind of like see-through. It does have that like mesh. When you wear it, you can see like the pattern. It's been really hot, so I didn't get a chance to wear it, but I'm definitely going to bring this with me on my next trip. Next, we have a pair of jeans. I would say Redone is probably my favorite brand when it comes to jeans. Really good quality jeans that literally last you years and years and years. I just wanted a clean, light wash jeans with no like rips, nothing, and the ends were not cut. And I wanted the actual like hems on it. And why is it so hard to find jeans like that these days? I don't know. Everything has a ripped hole. Everything has like frayed, like cut look. I don't like it. I just wanted something really clean. And I was really excited to find this. Unfortunately, however, I feel like I kind of fucked up on the sizing, which is weird because I chose my normal size, but it's a little bit big. I wish there was a way to like shrink these. But on the bright side, um, that gives me a lot of room. So when I do go out to eat, I can wear these <laughs> pants and be very comfy. And these are super thick, so I can pretty much wear them like all year round. And I got one more thing from Redone and it's this blue tank top. 
I mean, look at this color. And this neckline, I feel like it's very flattering. It kind of like gives you a shape for your chest. I went with small and it's perfect. It's not like super tight on me, but it's not loose. I mean, Redon is known for their quality and I think their tank tops are pretty popular as well, but they are really expensive, like almost $100 for a freaking tank top. But I know this is going to last me a long time and this color was just too good to pass up. Like I hardly ever see tank tops in this color. So yes, yeah, this with the jeans, some sandals, like we're good to go. I haven't found like a good bikini in years. And I was buying like those really cheap ones last year and I've come to the conclusion that I will never buy those ever again because the sizing is just completely off and I'm done with that gambling. So I'm going to stick with some well-known brands and I think Frankie's Bikinis is definitely one of them. I've been loving their stuff. They just keep coming out with new things and they all look so cute, but I can't just keep dropping $160 for like a set, you know? But this one is definitely my favorite. It's their pink quilted one. I don't know the name, but I will link it. It is so cute. I already wore this so many times. I actually signed up to be notified when this uh, collection dropped and I got it instantly. <laughs> like little gems, which surprisingly have like held up. Surprise. I mean, I do hand wash them because I'm kind of scared and especially like these are like so delicate. I read like 30 different reviews on their site to figure out like what size I was. And I love that you can choose a different size for your top and bottom because you know, everyone's shaped differently. So definitely recommend reading the reviews. And I think it's the fabric itself for this uh, specific one. It's kind of thick, it's like puffy. So it's so loose almost and just like airy. I love this one. And then I also got another one because I was really happy with the sizing and everything. So just got a classic white one, super, super cute. I will say though, um, it's not padded like the top so you can kind of see your nipples, but I think some people like it. And then the last two items are in here and I'm not going to open them up. You'll just have to see the try on clips because these get everywhere, like the glitter, I mean. I got them from this brand Serafina collection or something. I just found them, I mean, Instagram ad targeting, you know, like that kind of stuff. These are handmade in UK and I thought they would be perfect for like club and like some festivals I had planned, so I bought them. And they're so freaking cute. They're like amazing, but the glitter fallout, I just cannot handle. I was leaving crumbs everywhere where I went. And especially if I had to like sit on like the party bus or whatever, I would like stand up and just see a like a puddle of glitter. It was kind of embarrassing. Like it got on my bags. It was just everywhere. But if you can live with it, these dresses are amazing. I got like a dress that comes with a bodysuit. So cute. Like I cannot wait to wear them again. And another two piece, which is like super, super cute. Like I'm hoping that the next time I wear them, the glitter fallout would be a lot less because I already went around town in those, but we'll see. So that was all the things that I picked up over the course of a couple months that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.